The DECTAC XT Stylus Service Profiler is an advanced surface topography measurement system capable of nanometer vertical resolution on a wide variety of samples. The DECTAC XT characterizes surface roughness and waviness and can accurately measure thin and thick film step heights below 1 nanometer in height with less than 5 angstrom 1 sigma repeatability. Up to 200 millimeter diameter and 50 millimeter thick samples can be accommodated depending on the system configuration. The DECTAC XT system takes sample profile measurements electromechanically by moving a diamond tip stylus over the sample surface. The scan is completed following a user program scan length, speed, and stylus force. The stylus is linked to a linear variable differential transformer, or LVDT, which produces electrical signals that are processed and correspond to height variations of the sample. This analog signal is converted to a digital signal, and these surface variations are stored, displayed, and analyzed on a PC. There are three basic steps involved in system operation. Sample positioning, sample scanning, and sample analysis. Step 1. The sample is positioned properly on the DECTAC XT scan stage. Step 2. The sample is scanned while the stylus rides over the surface. The sample heights are recorded. Step 3. The Vision 64 software renders the sample topography. A variety of filtering and analyses can be done on the recorded measurement. The DECTAC XT system consists of three main elements, mechanical, electrical, and software components. The DECTAC XT consists of four main mechanical sections. The system base, the system bridge, sample fixtures, and the environmental enclosure. The base of the DECTAC XT holds a variety of system components the core of which is the scanning stage stack. The standard DECTAC XT configuration includes a 100 mm manual XY positioning stage. This stage has knobs and push levers that are adjusted to position sample features under the stylus. The clips allow for macro sample adjustment, while the knobs provide for finer adjustments. The optional DECTAC configuration includes a 150 mm automated and programmable XY positioning stage. The automated stage can add 3D mapping and stitching capabilities to the system. It also permits the system operator to log and measure multiple sample locations serially. The stage positioning is controlled directly from the Vision 64 software interface. At the heart of the base stack is the scanning stage. The scanning stage has 55 millimeters of travel distance. If the system is equipped with an automated XY stage, scan stitching can then be used to increase the total scan length to 200 millimeters. When a measurement is initiated, the scanning stage moves the user program scan length as set in the Vision 64 software interface. Sample tilt adjustment is built into the scanning stage. This allows the operator to properly set the sample tilt relative to the sensor head and stylus assemblies. The 
The DECTAC XT can be equipped with two types of base feet. The standard feet are comprised of a urethane polymer which helps isolate the system base from the surrounding environment. It is highly recommended that when these feet are installed, the system is placed on a passive isolation platform. The DECTAC XT can optionally be equipped with four passive pneumatic isolating feet that accept compressed air or nitrogen. These feet can typically be used in lieu of a larger isolation system. The DECTAC XT can be equipped with a variety of sample fixtures, from a simple sample block to fully automated theta stages with vacuum capability. All of the fixtures are mounted to the top of the scanning stage. The simplest sample fixture available is the sample block. The sample block is 100 mm square and is easily installed on the DECTAC XT with a dovetail adapter plate. A solar cell fixture can hold mono and polycrystal and solar cells of up to 150 mm square. It is easily installed on the DECTAC XT with a dovetail adapter plate. A variety of wafer vacuum chucks are available for the DECTAC XT. These can be used with DECTAC XT systems that are configured for both manual theta or automated theta capability. A manual knob is used to adjust manual theta stage rotation while the automated theta stages are controlled directly from the Vision 64 interface. A built-in vacuum switch allows the operator to easily turn vacuum on and off to hold or remove wafer samples. The DECTAC XT bridge holds several key components necessary for proper sample loading, imaging, and measurement. This includes the tower, the camera with sample illumination, and finally the sensor head and stylus assembly. The DECTAC XT system tower is software controlled. It can be raised for sample placement, and then subsequently lowered to position the stylus over the sample for measurement. The tower has a total travel range of 50 millimeters, so sample heights must not exceed 50 millimeters. The DECTAC XT includes an onboard USB camera and LED illuminator to assist the operator in sample feature location and stylus centering. The live video output of the camera is used to provide scan feedback to the operator during a sample measurement. The DECTAC XT sensor head magnetically holds the measurement stylus and contains the feedback mechanisms required to track stylus movement as it rides over the sample surface. There are a wide variety of stylus tip sizes available depending on the particular measurement application. Each stylus is shipped and stored in its own protective case. The DECTAC XT is equipped standard with an environmental enclosure. The enclosure protects the sample and scan area from adverse outside influences such as acoustical vibration, dust, and air currents. The enclosure has a front door which lifts to allow sample access. Measurement should always be run with the enclosure door closed.
There are several important electronic components incorporated into the DECTAC XT system. The interface box contains all of the signal processing required for running a DECTAC XT measurement. It performs monitoring and control of the LVDT signal, stylus force coil, scanning stage motor, Z-axis motor, and LED illumination. The interface box also has an integrated cable connector panel for all of the system input, output, and power signals. These cables are routed from the interface box to either the PC, EMO switch box, or the power supply adapter. The EMO, or Emergency Machine Off, switch box consists of three buttons. A red EMO button, a white power on button, and a black power off button. The EMO button cuts off power to the DECTAC XT system, but leaves power on to the PC and monitor. It must be released by twisting it clockwise one eighth turn. Power cannot be returned to the system until the EMO interlock is released. The power off button cuts off power to the DECTAC XT system, but leaves power on to the PC and monitor. The difference between the power off and EMO buttons is that the power can be returned to the system if the power off button is depressed. Power is returned to the system by depressing the power on button. The XY Theta motor connector serial to USB adapter allows the control of the X, Y, and Theta stage motors from the Vision 64 software interface. It is mounted under the back base cover. The DECTAC XT system can be controlled using a Bruker supplied desktop or laptop PC. Customers can also supply their own preferred PC to work with their DECTAC XT system. There are several important hardware requirements for the DECTAC XT. One, any PC used for control and analysis must be capable of running the 64 bit Windows 7 operating system. Two, the monitor must be capable of having a 16 by 9 aspect ratio with a minimum display resolution of 1920 by 1080. Please contact Bruker for full details on custom PC and monitor configuration requirements. There are two software interfaces the DECTAC XT user must become familiar with. The Windows 7 operating system, and the Vision 64 control and analysis software interface. The Vision 64 control and analysis software interface runs specifically under the Windows 7 operating system with 64-bit processing architecture. Some advantages of 64-bit architectures include faster data analysis and faster data filtering processing times. The DECTAC XT measurement control and data analysis is accomplished using the Vision 64 software interface. Vision 64 assists the system operator in acquiring sample data quickly. It has been specifically designed to create an intuitive user experience. Vision 64 simplifies operator interaction with the system, from sample setup to sample measurements and subsequent data analysis.